<laughs> Hold on a second. Ever wonder what people used to use as toothpaste back in the day? And why we even use toothpaste every single day? To understand that, we have to start way back in 5000 BC and visit Egyptians. Egyptians created toothpaste with powder of ox hooves, ashes, burnt eggshells, and pumice. They stored it as powder and when the time came to use it, it was mixed with water. It is very abrasive meaning the ingredients were harsh on teeth and gums. A few centuries later, we see similar recipes around the world with few ingredients being changed. The Greeks and Romans favored more abrasiveness. They added crushed bones and oyster shells to brush their teeth with. The Romans didn't want to smell bad, so they added powdered charcoal and bark to it. Chinese used crushed bones of fish in their tooth powder. They also wanted it to taste better, so they experimented with ginseng, herbal mints, and salts. So far, all of these methods contained ingredients that were really painful for gums. It wasn't until the Persians when the dangers of it were highlighted. Persians recommended usage of burnt heart's horn, burnt shells of snails, and burnt gypsum to go easy on the gums. Also, remember that only the wealthy people had access to this, and the poor used various tree twigs instead. It seems like people were comfortable with the existing tooth powder and forgot to make changes over time. We then jump to 18th century in England. The doctors, dentists, and chemists were offering powders which were developed using bricks dust, crushed china, burned bread, and cuttlefish bones. Also, baking soda was used as base for most of the powders. Beginning of the 19th century is when tooth powder becomes toothpaste. Glycerin was added to make it smooth and easy to brush with. In 1824, a dentist named Peabody became the first person to add soap to ground up toast mixture. In 1850, John Harris added chalk to toast mixture. In 1873, we see toothpaste being mass produced. It was sold in a jar and it smelled good for the first time. This is where it gets interesting. In 1892, Dr. Washington Sheffield in Connecticut puts toothpaste in a tube. He got this idea because his son told him about how painters in Paris were using paint from tubes. The main ingredients are still chalk, soap, salt, and mint. Fluoride was first added to the toothpaste around 1890s in Germany, but it wasn't until 1950s when fluoride research received American Dental Association approval. Procter & Gamble started doing research and eventually released Crust in 1960 for the public. With the help of marketing and increasing eating habits of sugars and carbs, now one simply cannot go a day without using toothpaste. If you've been wondering about toothbrushes, that's for another video. But can you seriously imagine a world where people don't brush anymore? We might have to start eating like animals.